Hi there. We look today in class at solving proportions. And so I've picked three problems from your homework to demonstrate what we learned. The first one's number eight here. With solving proportions, we utilize the cross products property, um, which allows me to do cross multiplication. And so we're going to take a look here and we're going to cross multiply, which means multiplying the terms that are diagonal from each other. So we have four times that seven equals six times that n. Okay, so then you're going to clean it up. Four times seven is 28 equals six n. And then this six and n, because they sit side by side like that, they're connected through multiplication. And so to break that multiplication bond, we're going to divide. So then we're going to get n equals 28 divided by six is 14 over three which is the same thing as 4.6666666 repeating. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look next at number 18. 18, we are given negative 4 over 5 equals 3 over z minus 5. It's the same steps. We're going to start with cross multiplying. And so we have negative 4 times that z minus 5 equals 5 times that 3. Okay, I can distribute here, so I get negative 4z plus 20 equals 5 times 3 is 15. Subtract 20 from both sides. You get negative 4z equals negative 5. And negative 4 and z are attached through multiplication, so we break multiplication through division. And so you're going to get z equals 5 fourths, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And 5 fourths is the same thing as 1.25, if you do choose to turn it into a decimal. Okay, last one here is number 23. Number 23, we were given 4v minus 2 over 8v equals 2 over 3. It's the same step. We're going to go ahead and cross multiply we get that 4v minus 2 times the 3 equals 2 times that 8v. So I can distribute here. We get 12v minus 6 equals 2 times 8 is 16. I'm going to subtract this 12v over. Get negative 6 equals 16 minus 12 is 4v. And then one more time, this 4 and v are attached through multiplication, and so we're going to break multiplication with division. And so v is going to be negative 3 halves, or negative 1.5, if you do choose to simplify. Or sorry, to turn it into a decimal, I should say. And there's your answer.